Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful blessed day. Here is your news report, stainless check update and stainless package update for Monday, February the 22nd. I have a lot of news to share with you today. I will be going over the status of the third stimulus check and why Republicans are not worried about voting against the one point trillion dollar stimulus relief bill. If you have not received your stimulus checks, please make sure to watch until the end of this video to learn what that means for you and your 2020 tax return. This coming Friday, I will be giving away another $50 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. So recently, Democrats have been receiving a lot of criticism from Republicans. The GOP party has been dismissing the idea that they'll be punished at the ballot box for voting against President Joe Biden's $1 trillion economic relief package. As the relief package moves through Congress this week, the $1 trillion bill is not expected to receive a lot of Republican votes. Democrats have tried to pressure Republicans in supporting the relief package, as the measure is very popular with the public. Unfortunately, Republicans have not been able to agree with the bill, saying that the bill is too focused on Democrats' priorities rather than the pandemic relief. Well, since Democrats are using the budget reconciliation process to move the stimulus relief package through Congress, the bill does not require any GOP votes to pass, but Democrats must stick together. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office has responded to Republicans with a statement saying that while Americans are in need, House Republicans don't care. Well, Republicans have claimed that Democrats are not interested in bipartisanship because Democrats are using the budget reconciliation process. Ford O'Connell is a former Republican congressional candidate in Florida, and he said, I don't see any risk to Republicans at all opposing this, especially as it relates to the 2022 election. House Minority Whip Steve Scalise's team wrote Friday in an email to Republican lawmakers. It's clear Democrats have no interest in approaching relief in a timely and targeted fashion and are interested in using the reconciliation process to jam through their liberal wish list agenda. Republicans have repeatedly argued that the relief bill is not targeted and includes too many Democratic priorities which are unrelated to the pandemic. They have criticized state and local government aid and a provision to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Democrats are hoping their stimulus package will be signed into law in the next few weeks, giving President Joe Biden a more legislative win early in his presidency. The House is expected to vote on this bill this week. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said, the vast majority of the American people like what they see in this package, and that should be an indication or should be noted by members of Congress as they consider whether they're going to vote for it or not. Torun Sinclair, a spokesperson for the National Republican Congressional Committee, the House GOP's campaign arm stated, House Democrats' $2 trillion socialist boondoggle puts partisan politics first and fails to address the most pressing needs facing the Americans, like getting kids back in the classroom and reopening small businesses. Democrats, st Democrats stalled on coronavirus relief for months in 2020, when American families desperately needed it. And what was their first priority when they now control the White House and both House of Congress? Not relief for struggling families, said Mandy Merritt, a spokesperson for the Republican National Committee. We will be sure that the voters don't forget this. Representative Sean Patrick Maloney told reporters, I think the president's plan will work and that the Republicans should get behind it and they will wish they had. Now, if you have not received your second stimulus check, you are still able to claim the stimulus money when you file your 2020 tax return. Just last week, the IRS stated that they had sent all previous stimulus checks to all eligible Americans. So if you know you qualify for a stimulus check and have not received your past stimulus checks, you should definitely claim that missing money in your 2020 tax return. This is the end of the video, everyone. I really hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway, which is scheduled for this Friday evening. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Thank you, and have a blessed evening.